Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to search for and order satellite images using Skywatch's EarthCache console. The Skywatch EarthCache console is our web-based user interface that allows you to navigate the Skywatch EarthCache API. The EarthCache API is a powerful tool for you to programmatically access and request imagery for your monitoring projects. To do that, I'm going to select New Pipeline. The first thing we want to do is identify our project area. I'm going to go over to Portugal and I want to zoom in on this peninsula a little bit by drawing a slightly smaller polygon. Once you're happy with your polygon area, select Next. Skywatch offers access to many different types of image outputs. Simply select the one that you would like to receive for your project. Now we would like to specify all of the image requirements for our monitoring project. In this case, I'm going to start by naming the pipeline and then I'm going to specify the date range for which I would like to receive images over. I'll start with today's date and go to November. Now I can specify the interval, which is how often I would like to receive an image during this period. I'm going to say monthly. And last but not least, we can select the resolution of image that we would like to receive. Right away, you can see that the price is calculated and displayed for the entire pipeline. This pipeline is going to task our network of satellites to collect a high resolution image on a monthly basis for the next four months. One additional parameter that you can select is your cloud cover tolerance. The default is set to be 80% of the image needs to be usable pixels. If the image does not meet that requirement, then you are not charged. Once you're happy with your settings, simply create the pipeline. Once the pipeline is created, it will appear as a line item on your dashboard. You can go back and review a few of the parameters you selected, including the location, the output, as well as our tasking settings. Once the results are ready, they will be delivered into the results tab and you'll be able to preview the image as well as download two different types of image files. One being the visual output file, which is a PNG, as well as the analytic output, output file, which is a GeoTIFF, and that will include all of the metadata, including pixel values and spectral bands. Additionally, you can click into the code tab and under the post configuration, the code required to regenerate this API call in your application is provided for your convenience. If we wanted to look for historical images over this uh, particular area of interest, we can easily do that by going into our archive search. Our archive search allows us again to specify our project area And this time it's going to show us all of the images that are available historically for the time period that we specify. In this case, I'm gonna go back in time to January of 2020 to today's date. As you can see, there are many images that are available, and we can preview those images by selecting the image preview. Once you're happy with your image selection, you can choose to purchase the single image by selecting Create Pipeline. Again, this image is going to come up as a line item on your dashboard, and when the image is available, it will be returned to the results tab and ready to be downloaded into your application. And that's it. 
If you'd like to get access to uh, using the EarthCache API, simply navigate to our request access form on the Skywatch website, and one of our members of the revenue team will be in touch with you shortly. Thanks for watching.